Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations with our reading for today. And today is Friday, October 5th, 2012. In today's cards, is going to be a personalized reading. And I'm using the Rune Cards by Ralph Blum. And today's choices are going to be my brown topaz colored stone my beautiful blue round I'm in blue today so and our lovely green stone so we have brown blue or green and today um, is my day 33 of gratitude and they were talking about being grateful for when we're in that dark place that dark cave that we've been going through to create the new paradigm in our life and the new shifts and new things that are coming in about being grateful to those that surround us and that have been giving us support um you know our friends our family in my case it's you guys here in the youtube community that have so embraced me um all the people from Mastin kipps class um that shared that experience with me i'm still getting emails of uh, support and it's just wonderful. I'm reaching out to different people on Facebook and just trying to expand and um, feeling really validated and supported by everyone. And, um, and of course, people like Glammy, who took me under her wing and just, you know, has kind of carried me along. And I really appreciate Glammy for who she is, that she's such a wonderful person and so caring and such a great intuitive and her readings are just amazing you know i go to glammy so make sure you you know i know she's got some 15 dollars readings i believe going up so go to glammy she's she's really amazing uh accurate and she does it in such a loving manner she really just just goes for it so um with that said let's go on to today's reading and our cards for today so today i'm going to look the first one we've got now, the messages that I feel that are coming through are in regards to this paradigm shift, this moment of having gone through the darkness and now coming out into the light and what is now before us. So for those of you who chose the brown colored stone, your message for today is harvest, which is, I guess, very appropriate for where we're at right now. And I'd like to read to you a little bit about what it says. Um, a rune of beneficial outcomes. Harvest encourages and supports any activity or endeavor to which you are committed. Be aware, however, that no quick results can be expected. A span of time is usually involved. Hence the key words, one year, symbolizing a full cycle before the reaping, the harvest, or deliverance. I know some of you are like, where? I'm doing all this stuff. I'm blocked. I'm not going anywhere. And that's not true. You are going somewhere. It just takes time to develop. Have faith. You have prepared the ground and planted the seed. Now you must cultivate with care. To those who labor has a long season, a long coming to term. Jera, which is the name of the, um, of the rune, offers encouragement of success. Know that the outcome is in keeping of providence and continue to persevere. Remember the old story about the farmer who was so eager to assist his crops that he went out at night and tugged on the new shoots. There is no way to push the river. Equally, you cannot hasten the harvest. Be mindful that patience is essential for the recognition of your own process, which in its season leads to the harvest of the self. So it's given you, you've done the work, patience, it's on its way. Now, for those of you who chose the beautiful blue, your message of today is opening. And you see, you've got that fire, sacral energy of the sacral chakra happening. Just, you know, um, that Aries type of energy. And it's, uh, this is the rune of opening and renewed clarity, dispelling the darkness that has been shrouding some part of your life. You are free now both to receive gifts and to know the joy of non-attached giving. 
Kano is the rune for the morning of activities, for seriousness, clear intent, and concentration, all of which are essential at the beginning of any endeavor. One of the 13 cycle runes, the protection offered by Kano is this, the more light you have, the better you see what is trivial and outmoded in your own conditioning. In relationships, there now can be a mutual opening up, which you may set in motion through your awareness that the light of understanding is once again available to you both. Recognize that while on the one hand you are limited and dependent, on the other you exist at the perfect center where the harmonious and benefic beneficent forces of the universe merge and radiate. You are that center. Simply put, if you've been operating in the dark, there is now enough light to see that the patient on the operating table is you. So basically, you're going through this process of opening up to these new things and getting rid of those things that no longer serve. And if you chose the green, which is also really nice, you are growth. And I love the stars. I love that it's this this type of looks like a tree and it's you're in the full process of the growth process. It says this is the Burkana rune and it denotes a form of fertility that fosters growth both symbolically and actually. The growth may occur in affairs of the world, family matters, your relationship to yourself or to the divine. A rune that leads to blossoming and ripening. Growth is concerned with the flow of beings into their new forms. Its action is gentle, penetrating, and pervasive. Consider your issue with care and awareness. First, disperse resistance, then accomplish the work. For this to happen, you must be firm, your motives correct. Any dark corners should be cleansed. This must be carried out diligently and sometimes with expert help. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are all called for here. Once resistance is dispersed and rectification carried out and seen to hold firm, then through steadfastness and right action, the blossoming can occur. So each one has its message of getting through patience, being aware that you're coming out of your dark time and understanding that with now passing this dark time going into the cycle of growth. So it doesn't matter where you are on the path, there are wonders waiting for you to happen, okay? You've done, you're, you're doing what needs to be done. So this is meant to be an encouragement and a gratitude for all of you. And I, I wish many blessings for this weekend. Enjoy. Um, it's Friday. You know, it's been a really transformative, growing, creative ideas type of week. So sometimes you just got to take a step back. And I was just watching Henry on Starseed Psychic. And, you know, one of his cards that he pulled out was um, laziness uh, from the Osho Zen. So it's okay to, you know, take a step back this afternoon and chill out with your friends and your family. And, and that gives you the energy and the balance you need for those of us who work so much in our intuition, so much in our readings. So much wanting to give and help to others to take that time and, and give a little bit back to yourself and enjoy. So I wish you many blessings today. Love and light. Namaste.